Hey everybody, what's going on? Today we are looking at uh, a new a, and different, I mean, I well, I think they had the EDX, I think it was, or something like that, quite a while ago from, um, from KZ. This one is a bullet style. You don't see a lot of bullet style KZs. Uh, there's been some really nice bullet styles that have come out. Uh, is that upside down? It is upside down as well. I'm just going to mute that. Hold on. Um, so there's the graph right there. And the specs, I'll read them out to you. Uh, the specs on this, it is a 3.5 millimeter fixed cable, 20 to 40 hertz, uh, kilohertz. Uh, impedance is 25 ohms. Sensitivity is 103 decibels. So it's not the, the hardest thing in the world to drive. Now, interestingly, inside this box, you get this nice case. Now, I have a green one similar to this. Uh, they do sell these cases separate, but I love these cases. It's got this little soft insert thing. And here's your Ling Long right here. And you get a different sizes in these white tips, which I like these white tips, actually. I think I like them better than the star tips. There's venting on the back, although I don't know if this is open or not. Uh, it's a nice thick cable. And uh, where's the termination? You have this nice L-shaped termination. So the cable's decent. Uh, my only pet peeve would be that it's fixed, but at this price, I mean, I really can't nitpick. So they're tiny. They fit in your ears pretty good. Most ears, I think even small ears, it should fit in really good. There's nothing really to them. There's some decent build quality for the price. Lightweight, easy to use. Um, taking this off, you can look at the nozzle right there. Kind of reminds me of the dumpling and the um, the Q, little Q, and the nice hick one I did like a few years ago. Uh, similar bullet shape, final audio, kind of looks like that as well. Uh, so it's a decent fit. It's a tried and true kind of uh, micro bullet, I call them, because it's not a big bullet like the... Um, uh, what the heck were those? The Singers that we did a while ago. Those are a little on the bigger side. Um, the Periodics, a little bit bigger, thicker, chunkier. These should fit everybody's ears perfectly fine, comfortable. It's a nice thick cable, so you don't really have to worry too much about that. Nice connections. There's even reinforcement right there. So build-wise, very good for the cost. Sound-wise, here's where it gets interesting. These have a really nice sound. There is a rich bass. There is, you know, a good kind of forward mids, a decent amount of sound stage there, and some accurate, you know, and technicalities thrown in. Classified as a fun shape that has details. Um, so it's a fun shaped IM. There's a six millimeter micro driver inside of this thing, and it does a decent job. Now, bass, this is by no means a bass cannon but it does have some enjoyable base to it with some good control as well. So you're getting both quality and quantity kind of in a balanced kind of thing. And I think overall this is a kind of fun, balanced V-shape signature. Um, decent build quality, decent price. I think these are... I'll leave a link down below. I, I could have sworn these were like 13 14 something like that. For the cost... I think a lot of people will enjoy these. If you're not a critical listener, uh, if you want to hear, you know, music with some rich sounding bass and, and you want some details and you want a really good controlled, uh, you know, upper end and some, some nice clear mids as well. And of course, being a V-shape, some tracks like older rock music and stuff, you just hear like a little bit of recession in the mids. But for the most part, the vocals are forward. And it just does a really good job. And, you know, for the cost, you're getting this nice case as well, which I like these cases. Uh, I'd actually like to get, like, something like this, but bigger. I'll have to look into that and see if they have those. But really, overall, uh, a nice, budget-friendly, decent, fun-sounding uh, IM that uh, isn't, like, fatiguing as well. When I say, like, the bass is rich, it digs down deep. 
It doesn't linger a long time. It doesn't muddy up anything. Um, there is a little bit of warmth to the lower mids, of course. Anything with bass is going to do that, basically, or usually. And uh, just ultimately, it's non-fatiguing. You can listen to these all day. You're not going to be bored. It's going to still give you, you know, some of your fun, uh, you know, overall signature that you want to listen to that can get you up in the morning or exercising or something like that. I would highly recommend these for that. Uh, I like them. They're, they're, they're decent for the cost. There's nothing I can say. I can't sit here and nitpick. Uh, I don't like fixed cable IMs particularly, but I, I can see the validity of these, definitely. So anyway, this has been the KZ Ling Long, uh, which means exquisite in Mandarin. Um, yeah, really good job from KZ to make something like budget-friendly that has some really good sound to them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was informative, and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.